This week, I built an adorable little bird feeder. Yep, so put down your tools, guys. It's time for Make or Break. Welcome back to Make or Break, guys. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And last week, I built a birdhouse that the offer kind of fell through a little bit. Yeah, it bit. hasn't sold yet, but no. I'm sure it will. Uh-huh. But to entice the birds, I built a restaurant to go right next door. Here's how it went. Now, I know we've said this before. But we love a project that we can get completed with a single board. And this one's no different. To build our bird feeder, we just needed that single cedar fence picket, which is less than four bucks at our local box store. Now the first thing we needed to do was to cut it down into six pieces with our circular saw. Don't forget to clamp down your material so you can always use two hands with your circular saw. Once we had our pieces cut, we needed to rip one of them in half. Now, I used our table saw for that, but you could easily do that with your circular saw as well. Now, the side pieces had to have an angle cut into them in order to support the roof. So, in order to do that, we simply adjusted our miter saw to 45 degrees and then cut from one side into the center at the end of each. Okay, now that we have all seven of our pieces, it was time for assembly. We decided to use Titebon 2 for its waterproof qualities and then nailed it together. First, the bottom and the two sides. Then we hammer it on the two edges where my birdies will eat. And finally, we attach the roof. Some of us were more proud of this than others. What? It was cool. Last of all, we grabbed a couple of these screwy eye hooks and carefully drove them into the top of the feeder by hand. This was easier than I thought it would be. And there you have it, bird feeder. Now on to feed the birds. So we grabbed a bit of rope, I cut it to size, threaded it through the eyelets, and tied it onto a loop. And then Rob spent four hours trying to loop it onto the tree, and I have to say, that brought me a bit of joy. Oh, shut up, I got it up there eventually. He did. Then we put in some bird feed, and that was that. We hung it right next to Sarah's very empty birdhouse. Oh, come on, <laughs> it's a tough market, and deals fall through. I'll have you know, I have several interested buyers. I bet you do, and I'm sure the bird feeder will help. Well, that turned out pretty cool. I, I like it. So it's did cute. anyone like move into the birdhouse next to it? I don't want to talk about it. No, that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. I want to thank Hart for sponsoring this episode and reminding us we can build anything you can imagine if you do it with Hart. All right, guys, break's over. Go make something.